What's going on, Assassins? It's Stark Shard of the YouTube Assassin, and we continue the Taco Tuesday trifecta with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're going to head over to Sargon. We're going to see what he's got. We're going to see what ship we have for our weekly, and then we're also going to see what our other weekly is going to be. So I pretty much am positive that, as usual, Sargon's going to disappoint us, and we'll check it out. He's only had ship parts forever. And, yeah, he's continuing that. So the ferryman, that's 80 op of the ore. That is obviously a crew. The barbaric skull, 25% hunter damage, 50% headshot damage, and 20% crit chance with the hunter abilities. If you have the whole wild boar set, that's also 80. Bandit bow, 25% assassin damage, 10% crit chance, 50% crit damage for 50 ore. And that is actually a pretty decent bow if you're doing an assassin build. Uh, the epic sword here is 24% warrior damage, 10% all damage, 40% fire damage. That's another 50 ore, and that is very good if you're going to be doing a build involving a warrior. You could also kind of use this Olympic gift to kind of gamble if you want, like to. There's a chance you'll get either an epic or a legendary, but I wouldn't hold my breath on getting legendaries. Those are super rare there. Now, Bounty on Athenian ship, this is the Piraeus, that is the ship we're attacking, and Red Fire is going to be our other weekly. So we'll take a look at what we've got here before we go anywhere. And Red Fire is going to be uh, Spartan soldiers with spears, soldiers with fire, and soldiers with headshots, all Spartan, 15, 10, and 15 respectively. You just have to keep in mind that the fire, you have to actually kill them with fire, not the weapon, not an arrow, the actual fire. So let them burn to death. And you can most likely do this at the arena. That's usually where we go to get stuff like that done. But, hey, if you're more into like trying to run around inside of a fortress, you go right ahead. And then our ship, of course, is the Piraeus. We'll take a look and see what this looks like here. And we'll just scroll through all these different sails. And I believe it's, yep, here it is right here. Alright, so I actually do enjoy the color scheme. It looks pretty cool. Kind of nice with all the dark blues and the uh, yellows there. So that's decent. Now let's see where it is. Where did we put this thing? Upper right hand corner. And there it is. So what I'm going to do is warp over here and then bring you guys in as soon as I'm nearby. That way we just get it done. You're not waiting on this being a 10 minute video. So here we are. We're going to go directly after the ship. There are two pirate ships here. And the pirate ships obviously count as pirate ships. The ship in the middle always counts as like a rogue ship. So even though the pirate ships are defending it, it's not really a pirate ship. It will not count as a pirate ship. It will not count as Spartan or Athenian either. It will always be some sort of rogue ship. So if you've got like a, a, a mission or something that you got off the bounty board where it says that you're going to need to take out, let's say, five pirate ships, this will not be like three pirate ships if you take out all these ships. It will only be two, and this one doesn't count as anything. It's a rogue ship. So let's go and just ram this sucker. Here we go, took him down. And let's see, I've got a, not legendary, I've got an epic item. And I've got, of course, the 44 ore. The epic item is because I already have the sale, so they're not going to bother giving me another one. And then, of course, the 44 ore is because I'm the top tier mercenary. You'll get 10% more ore rather than just the regular standard ore if you're top tier. Which means that I'll get 44 on weeklies when I'm attacking mercenaries or ships, and I'll also get 11 when I'm doing dailies, uh, and 17 rather than 15 if they ever bring back the months where we have ships all week and then mercenaries all week. I hope they do bring that back. Anyway, that's all there is for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And we're ending this on a ya -yeet.
Ya Yi!